David Schwartz, Ripple's chief tech officer, says he's still most worried about payments. But 4 million Ripple statement holders will be rich in 2022. He also turned his attention to carbon credits and gaming myths. David Schwartz is Ripple's chief technology officer. David is one of the original architects of the XRP ledger. Before joining Ripple, David Schwartz was chief technology officer at Webmaster Incorporated, a software developer based in Santa Clara. He has developed encrypted cloud storage and enterprise messaging systems for organizations such as CNN and the National Security Agency, NSA. Known as Joel Katz, he is a respected voice in the digital currency community. We have yet to see a real breakthrough of the red resistance line. Therefore, we should only buy if the resistance breaks. Is the purchase justified? We are excited about carbon credits. He said in a November 29th interview in Miami after speaking at a decentralized conference, I think it's because I think it's perfect for him now. There is a real problem with origin-related carbon credits and keeping things from being issued. For example, there are no two sets of carbon credits. Meanwhile, games are another area ripe for development, and non-fungible tokens can help studios attract users to its latest offering, Schwartz said. He pointed out that gamers are used to older games and may not be in a rush to follow a developer's new product, which is creating real problems in the gaming industry. Starting from scratch, I feel a sense of loss. Carrying NF2 makes it easier to switch to the game without feeling lost. After filing a motion for challenge and summary response, the XRP community looks forward to U.S. Judge Annalisa Torres' ruling on this case to determine if crypto assets are securities. However, the XRP community hopes Judge Torres will rule in favor of Ripple. Some stakeholders believe Ripple will lose the case. Hoffman, chief operating officer at the Chia Network, is among the cryptocurrency players who hope Ripple will lose to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. In a recent tweet, Hoffman told his XRP holders that former SEC Treasury Secretary William Hinman told his Ripple executives that he said XRP is a security. He shared a screenshot of the SEC lawsuit in a recent response to a brief court ruling asking his XRP holders to prepare for the future after Ripple's loss. Did you know that Bill Hinman told Ripple's management that in 2019 he believed XRP was safe and that he would be prepared for Ripple SEC losses in the future? As the new year is in full swing, participants in the cryptocurrency sector are looking for indicators to predict the price of the assets they invest in including XRP. This token has been the focus of extensive lawsuits. According to Finbold's data accessed on December 22nd, as of today, a machine learning algorithm at crypto tracking platform Price Predictions predicts that the price of XRP will hit 33.7826 cents in January 2023. The platform includes various technical analysis TA indicators, such as Relative Strength Index RSI, Bollinger Bands BB, Moving Average MA, and Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD, and displays the price of XRP rises to 2.81 when pressed. Bearish forecasts break records as XRP whales and sharks rally using Token's recent price correction to increase percentage of retained supply to 7.23% and increased number of these addresses to 1,617 was done inside. Meanwhile, the legal battle that the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, is waging against the blockchain company and XRP issuer Ripple seems to be nearing its conclusion, which is expected to have a profound effect on the price of XRP, and the nature of this effect will depend on the outcome. In connection with this, the Cardano ADA founder, Charles Hoskinson, declared that he would no longer speak about Ripple or XRP after receiving backlash from the XRP community over his stance on the lawsuit and the rumor that it would be concluded on December 15th. It is also worth mentioning that Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse slammed it as ridiculous and frankly shameful that the SEC chair Gary Gensler was touting the SEC's enforcement action as the cop on the beat, yet met with SBF multiple times but was caught completely flat-footed when the alleged fraud finally came to light. At the same time, Ethereum ETH co-founder Vitalik Buterin said that Ripple-issued XRP was still completely centralized, in a response to which Ripple Chief Technology Officer David Schwartz criticized Buterin for not understanding the difference between Ripple, the company, and XRP, the token. Ripple CTO David Schwartz and self-proclaimed Bitcoin inventor Craig Wright 
clashed for the first time around the Christmas holidays in a verbal altercation on Twitter. As Bitcoinist reported, the dispute ended with Schwartz ignoring his counterpart. At the same time, Wright threatened to submit a scientific paper on XRP to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to support the lawsuit. Oral discussions have revived two days after the fighting lulled a bit. Wright, a major figure in Bitcoin SV, BSV, said his CTO of Ripple Wright is the inventor of Bitcoin. But he's not Satoshi Nakamoto, a screenshot of his tweet a year ago by Schwartz. Wright objected, saying his CTO at Ripple didn't understand that it was just a computer, he wasn't a science issue. It's not banking, the economy, it's not the law. That's why XRP fails, Wright continued. Inspired by this remark, Schwartz entered the second round of debate and curiously asked him about his definition of failure. XRP has a market cap of about $17 billion, and BSV has a market cap of less than $1 billion. So this is certainly not the market cap. Maybe it's the volume of the market. How about $20 million BSV? No, I don't think so, Schwartz said, adding, It's your little fork's little fork, failing on every imaginable metric and keeping your heart pounding for everyone who forces you to face every tiny bit of reality. The discussion then evolved to Wright's claim that the XRP ledger cannot be scaled. Both competitors discussed the pros and cons of XRP compared to Wright's Bitcoin alternative BSV which, according to Wright, the founder of Bitcoin SV, only works with larger blocks. Scalable blockchain will become popular. His CTO at Ripple countered that he had two main reasons for this not being correct. For one thing, whether through federation, roll-up, higher layers or otherwise, nearly every Layer 1 system will scale if there is enough demand. On the other hand, Schwartz believes Layer 1 doesn't need to scale. It just needs to be put in place and available to redirect most traffic to more efficient mechanisms. In a recent tweet, Ripple's chief technology officer, David Schwartz, suggested he wasn't ready to leave the company. Schwartz says he kind of likes starting a new project from scratch. The CTO says there are many new things he wants to work on, but he doesn't just want to strive superficially. Schwartz admitted that he no longer had the passion for starting a new major project. The XRP Ledger's designer, Ripple's trillion-dollar man, says he wants to work less than 50 hours weekly for the next two years. I'm sick of it, he said. Schwartz claims that when he worked on XRPL with Stefan Thomas, Arthur Brito, and Chris Larson, he had a very tight schedule. However, he thinks he will need more time to be able to lead such a gigantic project again, Schwartz said of his work at Ripple. This company could develop undefined products using cutting-edge technology. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section, and to stay updated, make sure to click the subscribe button.